so I have finished Deku's route for a while now, but I needed to gather my thoughts, and yeah, I was lazy to record it, honestly. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna digress now, and this is gonna be spoilery, so yeah, if you didn't play it, I encourage you to play it and then come back and watch this video. So, in general, I really like the route and has some unexpected development for the characters, and I, I liked it for that. But the romance at first, it was interesting, It was I was into it, but then it turns more and more fatherly and uncomfortable because of the relationship between uh, Daku and Dua and how Dua looks like his mother and he knows him since he was a child, I just, I don't know, I just felt uh, unease watching them. But their love was also sweet, so I just it was conflicting. And yeah, I feel like it's like the childhood uh, friends drew, but they made it weird somehow. <laughs> and it's not about the age gap for them. It's not about that. It's more about the nature of the relationship and him knowing him since he was a kid. Yeah, that was. A huge factor of how I felt Yeah, but the scenes themselves are really hot and the last one was so sweet and heartfelt Despite all of what's going on, but it was still in my mind something bugging me So I didn't enjoy it quite as much as I was hoping to and there's also this is like a side note, but that was and decisiveness was also bothering me like I felt like come on do something like it, it annoyed me to no end <laughs> sometimes and also the unclear childhood of Tua even though like Taku knows him for a long time I thought it was he was the best at uncovering that and learning more about Tua's childhood I mean, his mother, his little sister, we know nothing of, even though he know his mother. And what, yeah, what was the relationship between Dago and Dago's mother, Maya? Like, we don't know anything about that. He said he respects her, he doesn't have any romantic feeling to her. But he didn't say anything much, so that is also a mystery. And there are some hints here and there about it, but there isn't anything decisive to it. And I think part of that is because it's one of the first two roots in nature. It can't develop so deep. It can't spill all the beans because it's just the beginning. Consider so it. In that regard, it succeeded to intrigue me and hook me in. Uh, it is said that the madness ending was the most skin we have from Taka. <laughs> like, <sighs> like for real? Why? Why do you do this? And it, it was, you know, gory as all hell. So uh, I didn't even enjoy it then. So come on, at least give us some some sneak peek here and there. But anyway, <laughs> this is like a side note, it's not even <laughs> a critique. Like, we wanted more skin. Show us. <laughs> Final thoughts for all of this madness. And I've actually written it on. Although Daco was my favorite soldier. His route leaves much to be desired, from the uncomfortable nature of his romantic relationship with Dova, despite how sweet it was, to the incomplete backstory of Dova, since Dak was the person who knows him and his mother the longest. Even though with all of that, it managed to wrap up most of, if not all, the root uh, specific plot and keep me interested to learn more of the characters and the city of Yay! I read it. <laughs> this is considerably my thoughts about it. Yeah, I was excited for him as like design-wise. He's actually the one I was most excited about, and his route was good. I liked it. I think I wanted more scenes, maybe, or I don't know. But all in all, the story in it, the conflict that was in it, it was solved nicely, and I liked the ending. And yeah, Dak is—he's—he's he's a good character. I like him a lot. 
And I'm excited to get involved with Ray now and play with it. Finally, now I can play it oh, after I've recorded this. Yay! I would be playing that and then I would be recorded hopefully as soon as I finish it. But yeah, thank you all for watching and goodbye. Yeah, side note. Fuck Dono.